Let's try to understand how to find circumcenter of a triangle. So here we have a triangle PQR. It says plot the points on the grid. P is minus 6, 7. Q is minus 4, 2. R is 7, 5. On the grid below to make triangle PQR. So the triangle is already plotted for you. This is P, Q and R where points are minus 6, 7. Q is minus 4, 2. And R is 7, 5. Now you need to find circumcenter of this triangle. So that is the exercise. So you need to find the circumcenter for this triangle. So it's find circumcenter. So what is circumcenter? To find circumcenter, you need to find right bisectors of each side and they will intersect at a point and that point is called circumcenter. Right, so we need to find really right bisector of at least two sides. Once we do that, then we will find the circumcenter. Since circumcenter is intersection point, so point of intersection, I should write point of intersection of right bisectors. Now let's find right bisector for PQ. To find right bisector of PQ, we need a midpoint, we need slope of PQ and bisector will be the midpoint and right bisector means perpendicular to PQ. So slope of PQ will be negative reciprocal to get the slope of perpendicular line and then we get the equation of right bisector of PQ. So let's first find midpoint of PQ. Let's say the midpoint of PQ is S. So the coordinates for S will be P and Q. So we'll add X values divided by 2 and Y values divided by 2. So X values are minus 6 minus 4. So we'll write minus 6 minus 4 divided by 2. That is the X value. And the Y values will be 7 plus 2 divided by 2. Correct? And that is equals to minus 10 divided by 2. And that is 9 divided by 2 and that gives us minus 5 and this is 4.5 so we can write 4.5 for the time being or 9 by 2 well anyway it should be let's keep it 9 by 2 for the time being we'll see now so we have the midpoint here now let's find the slope of PQ so MPQ is equals to rise over run so difference of y values which is 7 minus 2 divided by difference of x values minus 6 minus of minus 4 so that becomes plus. So we get 7 minus 5, 2 is 5 and minus 6 plus 4 is minus 2 so we get slope of minus 5 over 2. Now slope of perpendicular will be negative reciprocal. So we get slope of perpendicular will be negative reciprocal, so it will be 2 over 5. So that becomes the slope. And we know the point here, point is S, which is minus 5, and Y value is this. So from here, we can find equation of right bisector. So right bisector of PQ will be equals to, let's say, Y equals to, let's say, Y1 this time for the first right bisector is equals to m m perpendicular x plus b right now to solve this equation we have to put the y value of 9 by 2 and m of 2 by 5 x of minus 5 and then we can find what b is right so let's solve this equation so we have y of 9 by 2 so 9 over 2 equals to slope 2 over 5 times x of minus 5 plus b, right? So from here we can solve for b, 5 and 5 cancel out, so we have 2 here. So it is 9.2, 9 by 2 with a minus sign, right? So when it comes to this side, so we get 9 over 2 plus 2, right? So we get b, so from here b equals to 9 by 2 plus 2 because 5 and 5 cancel out leaving minus 1 plus 2 and that gives us 4 
plus 9, 13, 13 over 2. So 13 over 2 is the value of b for us and therefore we have the first equation as y1 equals to 2 over 5x plus 13 over 2. So that is the equation of right bisector of PQ. Similarly, let's now find the right bisector for another side. Let us take QR. Now, for Q and R, the midpoint is, so let's say, let's say this point is T for us. Let's say T is equal to midpoint of QR. Now, X values are minus 4, plus 7 divided by 2 and the y values are 2 plus 5 divided by 2 and that gives us 3 over 2 and 7 over 2. So these are the center points for T, center of QR. Now the slope of QR is that is MQR is equals to difference of y values 5 minus 2 divided by 7 minus minus 4. That means 7 plus 4. So we get 3 over 11. So that is the slope for the line. So the equation of the line with slope, now slope of perpendicular is going to be, let's say sir, perpendicular to this will be minus 11 over 3, right? So that is the perpendicular slope. Now we will use this perpendicular slope and the point to find equation of the line. So let's say y2 equals to m second perpendicular x plus b. Now y2 is 7 over 2 equals to m1 is minus 11 over 3 x values 3 over 2 plus b. So from here we get b equals to 7 over 2 plus 3 and 3 cancels, 11 over 2, that is the value of B. Now 7 plus 11 is 18, 18 over 2, we can write here, A is equal to 9. And therefore, we get our equation, which is Y2 is equals to slope of 11 over 3, which is with minus sign, X and B is 9 for us, plus 9. So we have two equations, equations of both the right bisectors and from these two equations we can find the value of x, right? So let's now find the value of x. So we'll solve or rather equate both the equations. So we have equation number one, this is right bisector of PQ, so this is right bisector of PQ, right? And here we have equation two that is right bisector of QR. Right? So we'll equate both the equations and solve for x. So we have 2 over 5 x plus 13 over 2 equals 2 minus 11 over 3 x plus 9. So that is the equation we have. Now to simplify this, what we can do is let's bring let's multiply everything by the common denominator, which is 30 in this case, right? So if we multiply by 30, then to simply get rid of fractions, that's the first step. So we get 30 means 6 times 2, 12x, and here we get 5 times 3, 15 times 13, right? So here we get 15 times 13. So we have 15 times 30 and on this side we get 10 times 11 which is minus 110x and this is 30 times 9 which is 270, right? So that is what we get and we can bring these terms together and we get 110 plus 12 that means 122x is equals to 270 minus 15 times 13, right? Let's do it on the side. 15 times 30. 3 times 5, 15, 1, 45. And then 50 is 5, 9, 195 minus 195. Now, 
270 minus 195 is 6, 16 take away 9 is 7 and 75. So x is equals to 75 over 122. So that is the x value of the point 75 over 122. Now once you get the x value you can find the y value of the coordinate by placing this value in any one of those equations, correct? So you can find y value as y equals to 2 over 5, we can use this one, okay, 122 is not a multiple of 3. So anyway, so we get y equals to minus 11 over 3 times x, which is 75 over 122 plus 9, right? So we can solve this and then find our answer using the calculator. So we'll approximate the answers, we'll say 75 divided by 122 equals to 0 0.615 let us say this is 0 0.615 and here we get times 11 divided by 3 equals to this and that is with the minus sign and we'll add 9 to it that gives us 6.75 6.75 so so the x coordinate is 0 0.615 and 6.75 so that is the circumcenter for the given question so have a good look at it and there may be some calculation mistake but I think you understand the concept now let's go through the steps which we have followed so step number one is to find right bisector of PQ. Now to find right bisector of PQ we first find the midpoint which is S in this case and then we find slope of PQ right there and negative reciprocal of this slope gives us slope of the perpendicular line from here right so which was 2 over 5 so that was the slope and that is the midpoint. Using slope and midpoint you find equation of the right bisector so that is the first equation. Follow the same process to find right bisector of QR and this is here. So once you have both the right bisectors then at the point of intersection equate them to get the value of X. Solve for X. Once you get the value of X which is here plug in the value of X in any one of these equations find the Y point and get your answer. So I hope you follow this step there may be some calculation mistakes I'm not sure about but anyway the steps are as shown here. Do this question on your own and check your answer. Thank you.